Okay, so next uh, let's start to talk about the jacket uh, construction. So uh, my goal for today's class is to um, have the main body part constructed, okay? So the first step is to uh, check one more time uh, which fabric is used for the uh, contrast piece and which fabric is used for the main piece. So for me, um, this is the hood, I'm using the main fabric. Um, this is the um, right side, a uh, left side of the wearer's body. So that's contrasting piece, uh, main body. Okay, for the um, right side of the um, wearer, and then um, main fabric for the back. Okay, so check it one more time. So the first step to sew is to sew the right sides. So the right sides together. Um, sorry, to sew the um, front and the back together at the shoulder and also at the side seam. So let me do actually let me do the side seam first. Um, and the seam type we are using is serger. Okay, we're using the overlock. Okay, so that's the right side of the fabric, wrong side of the fabric, and then uh, contrasting piece, yes. Okay, contrasting piece for this side. Oops. Yes, so that's the right side, so wrong side, so right side should be sewn together like this. Okay, so double check. Mine is confusing because I'm using the same fabric, okay? So make sure the raw edge is showing at the wrong side. So check the sides. If there's no problem, pin them together at the notches. Okay. Okay. Match. Okay. That's the wrong side of the back. Okay, when those two sewn together, the right side should look like that. Okay, so that's correct. Um, and then, okay, then let's, let me search along the same. Okay, I will be back. So check check the edges. So make sure you sew them at the five A similarns. Okay. Align the edges. Okay. Okay. Hold the fabric weight okay so it's not dropping
I have one side seam sewn together. And then let me grab the other one. So I'm going to finish the other side. So here's the other side. Okay, check one more time. Okay, at the right side of the jacket, then the fabric should be like this. Okay, so I'm sewing. Okay. Okay. So make sure the sides is correct. Okay, so. I'm and then once it's folded, it's the main fabric. Okay. Okay, so let's start sewing. Again, put the fabric weight on the table. Okay, so it's not dropping. Matching the notches, okay? Do not overstretch your fabric. Okay, so the next one is the shooter thing. So shooter thing. Okay. So remember, we want to use the elastic um, to finish the shooter thing, and the elastic should be placed at the back side of the body. Okay. So let me use my elastic. So uh, I will place some extra elastic at the uh, brown table on top of the brown table together with the um, together with the um, the separating zipper. So feel free to grab some for your project. Okay. So let me identify the back. Okay. So here's the wrong side of the back. And five A seam allowance. Okay, so make sure I leave some. So we demonstrated that, um, let me measure it. 
I demonstrated on last class session, so hopefully you still remember. And Dr. Hart taught to you this technique as well, okay? So make sure you know how to do it. Okay. So I'm just using a pin to pin the tape. Okay, make sure you leave a tail that is long enough so you can hold the tape. Side sewn together. Okay. okay. Let me repeat it. So those three layers there together. So make sure when you sew in this process, you don't create any kind of bubbling, bubbling shape, okay? So if you're not comfortable with sewing the uh, elastic, uh, make sure you practice first, okay? Five A similar Lawrence. So you don't want to stretch your fabric or the tape in the process. Okay, just let it go nicely and natural naturally. Okay. Okay, so it's nice here. You may trim off the extra by just cutting it yourself, the extra width. Okay. okay. Be careful, you don't want to clip into your fabric, okay? okay. okay. Then you can do the same thing to the other shooter. still have it placed on the back. Let me train. Okay, nice. Okay, 
So shoulder seam finished, the side seam finished. Okay, so next let's work on the hood.